We're going <coughs> to show how to use sensitivity analysis in this app. We go to accessories and then click on sensitivity analysis. And then, first of all, we choose which crop we want to do the sensitivity analysis about. I'm going to select sunflower and here I can find the list of experiments for sunflower. I open the last one, which is an experiment in Cordoba, and I'm going to select this treatment, which means a rain fed uh, treatment in 1993. And then we're going to check what is the sensitivity of sunflower yield to changes in the genetic coefficients. Let's see what happens if we change P1, which is the thermal time for the juvenile phase. We have here P1. We could select other parameters, but we stay with P1. And we gonna have the default for this cultivar E353 is to 45. And we are gonna check what happens if we move from 100 in increments of 10 units and then we're gonna do 20 iterations so it would go to from 100 to 300 we leave this uh, cities click on go and we have here the selected treatment click we click on create experiment Click on save and we overwrite any older uh, file that we can have. Then now we can click on use control options and if we want to, uh, to see the results with uh, Excel, we click on CSV outputs only summary dot out. Click on OK and then run the model. OK, the simulations have been performed and now we go to our hard drive to the directory where we have this at 4.8 and we go to sense work. In this directory we will find the summary CSV file. We click on that file and here we see the results. In this column we see the changes in the P1 parameter. So the same experiment has been run changing this parameter for the cultivar from 100 growing degree days to 300 growing degree days. We're gonna insert a column and we are going to plot yield versus the value of this parameter we fill this column and then this is p1 sorry p1 we mark this column and then we have go this is the harvest and we go to insert and for charts, we have here the response of sunflower yield in that experiment, in that treatment, to the change in the duration of the juvenile phase. We can see that for, um, look at the, the standard for this cultivar is 245. So if we had used a shorter cultivar, we have we had the improved the uh, yield of the crop. We can go and do other things with uh, sensitivity analysis. We can go and change the cultivars so we can generate or simulate the same treatment of the same experiment with different cultivars or we can do changes in the planting date, in this case it was the uh, it was in June, the seventh of June, 
and we can change that or change the plant population or the planting depth or the row spacing. We can, for instance, check what uh, are the sensitivity of some flower in that experiment, in that treatment, to changes in the plant population, for instance. So we could start by one plant per square meter and then increment by one unit and we we're going to do nine additional itera iterations. So we would go from one to ten plants per square meter, click on go click on create experiment, click on save, overwrite, and then we can run the model. We go now to the directory of sense work and we click on summary. And in summary, we see that now we have been changing the plant population from 1 to 10. Look at this. If we check on the yields from 1 to 10, we will see that we, who we would have, in this case, we had a plant population of 7, and we would have had a larger, uh, larger yield if we had only used 2 plants per square meter.